How to use Wix to make a portfolio website. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. So in this video, I'm gonna be quickly walking you through on how you can create a great looking portfolio website and um, you know how you can actually use Wix to create it. Click the top link down below to create a free Wix account which is the first step to creating your portfolio website. And in this portfolio website, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a good looking portfolio. And a portfolio website is basically a blog website, you know, where you talk about yourself. It's a personal blog where you tell people about yourself and you know, pretty basic stuff. So to start things off, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna come over to Wix.com and create an account. The account creation process is pretty simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make sure that everything works properly and fine. And once you do that, you're simply gonna come here and click on create a new site. So once you click on create new site, what's gonna happen from there is it's gonna give you things like bring your ideas to life with AI. And uh, you can do that. You can create a website using AI if you want to. So you can start chat and uh, you know make it right now. Or you can simply come over here and click on setup without AI. So once you do that, it says, what kind of website do you wanna create? So obviously we wanna create a portfolio website. So I'm gonna click on it over here and uh, you get all of this. So JR portfolio, journalist portfolio, film student portfolio, writing portfolio, you know, you get, you get the usual. So I'm gonna go with art portfolio for now. Let's say I wanna make an art portfolio for my website, right? So once we do that, I'm simply gonna click on continue. So once we click on continue, what's gonna happen from there is you're gonna get the, you know, basic things that you're gonna wanna work with, which brings you to the dashboard. So once it brings you to the dashboard, what you're gonna wanna do over here is you're gonna obviously enter name for your site and all. So I'm gonna call it P for Picasso. Okay, I'm just gonna call it, I don't know, it sounds cool, so I'm just gonna keep it that. And once you do that, it shows you Wix apps. So it says, choose the apps that you would like to add to give your more site more functionality, Wix business solutions. So obviously for a portfolio website, we will need a portfolio widget where you can showcase your work in a portfolio. Then there's all these other things that you can add. I'm not exactly gonna go ahead and use any of it right now, okay? Because I don't see much use towards it. And once I've done that, I'm gonna to go to my dashboard. Now, once you come to your dashboard, let me show you what things are gonna look like. So first of all, it's gonna show you things like connect a custom domain um, and um, you know add project to your portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're gonna do is we're obviously gonna start with this section over here where it says add project to your portfolio, you know, because with before getting into the creation of a designed website, we're gonna go ahead and make a portfolio. So I'm gonna click on add project. I'm gonna call it art. Okay, I'm gonna click on next. It says description. This is where you can tell your visitors more about this portfolio. You can actually create a AI generated. So what would you like your visitors to know? Uh, I'm gonna go with tell them my journey of art from, let's say, uh, National College of Arts. Okay, I'm just gonna write that and click on create text. And as you can see, it just gives us all of these things. I'm just gonna use one of them. And I'm gonna click on next. Now, once we click on next, it says add basic info. So you can share any key information that's relevant to your project where you get project type, date, location. So I'm gonna go with the portrait. Okay, then you have date and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. Add, you know, whatever art project you have that you created yourself, simply go ahead and add it. So let's say I'm gonna add this, you know, just as a reference picture. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on done. And once it works out and gets uploaded, what you can do is uh, just click on done. And that basically fixes it up. So your project is now in your portfolio. And then you can actually manage this project even more. Like you can add in more project media into your computer if you want to. But yeah, that's the basic idea. And then in your portfolio, you can also 
make collections like in your portfolio you have seven projects that you can work with so you have art and this and this and this and there's also different integrations where you can showcase work from all your accounts in one portfolio if you want to but yeah enough said from all of that let's go into actually designing a website you know because designing a site is the main part of you know showcasing your portfolio so i'm going to go ahead and design a website through a template so i'm going to go with this you know this looks pretty cool so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to load things up now while it loads things up uh what we are you know uh you know we're talking so uh, i'm just going to wait for it to load in and uh, you're also going to want to make a blueprint of what kind of color scheming you're going to want to use in your portfolio you know and uh when you publish it to google how you're going to want to mess around with its seo because obviously to get visitors to see your portfolio you're going to want to make sure that your page's seo is good is up and running and it's working well okay these are things that you're going to want to make uh you know obvious so once it loads in let me show you how your portfolio which you've currently just added is going to look in your website okay so uh we're just going to wait for the wix website editor to load in and obviously once the website editor has loaded in properly like this you can see that this person has uploaded their art and it looks pretty nice it looks pretty cool and as you can see they start adding the wix portfolio as well because that is a widget that needs to exist in our website for our website to work so i'm going to come here and uh we're obviously going to add a portfolio in this okay because to actually insinuate a proper portfolio working in you're going to want to make sure to add in you know different things like uh different widgets from your portfolio or different applications that will work well with your portfolio so these are things that uh, you're going to want to keep in mind when working with us okay now once portfolio is added you know you are going to want to make sure to add different widgets in that portfolio so we're going to open up our portfolio and once that portfolio opens up you can see over here you can also go to the actual portfolio page that we have right so i'm going to go to my portfolio page and here we go so as you can see here you can see different portfolios I'm going to go like, let's say if someone clicks on this, they're going to be taken to my art portfolio and all. And that is how you're going to basically create a portfolio website. And once it's done, you can publish it and you're good to go. So that is pretty much about it. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.